Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, just a little while. You will see with your own eyes the reward of the wicked. This is the message the Lord had me to talk to somebody about. The wicked will not go upon who says the Lord. The wicked will not go upon who says the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The punishment will be greater than what they can bear. The punishment will be greater than what they, what they have done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Their wickedness, there is a reward. For every wickedness, there is a reward. For every good, there is a reward. Hallelujah. God will reward or punish every person for what that person has done. God is not a man. Their punishment is already greater than what they can bear. They see it. That is why you see a lot of people right now that are dwelling in wickedness. Their body is not, just peppering them as if you pour pepper on them. Whenever you say something, you see the way they react. They react as if they are waiting for you to say something. Why? Because they can already see that the punishment that the Lord has put in place for the wicked, it is something that they cannot bear. Hallelujah. They cannot bear it because it is it's tormenting them. It is tormenting them. Don't be surprised when people attack you even when you just want to say hello. Don't be surprised when someone who dwells in wickedness attack you even when you want to help them. Don't be surprised when people, uh, when, when you want to wish somebody well and say peace be with you and the person tell you keep your peace to yourself. Don't be surprised because they understand that they are carrying a punishment for what? for the evil that they have done against others hallelujah don't be surprised sometimes many of us we just sit down we are thinking why is this person angry i just said peace be unto you and the person said keep your peace to yourself ah good money the person said what is good about the money ah hello what is hello i don't want to greet you you know you are like ah, ah, what is going on why because there is this pepperish their body is pepperish is it pepperish they call it yes it is peppering them because they understand that this punishment nothing they cannot escape the judgment of god they cannot escape the punishment of the lord hallelujah some people by always continuing to do good live for god's glory for honor and for life that has no end god will give them life forever for those that do good the bible the bible says in the book of romans chapter 2 verses that those that do good that continually following god that live for god's glory that honor the lord he said god will give them life forever hallelujah and he said but for others but others for but other people are selfish other people are selfish they refuse to follow truth and instead follow evil god will give them his punishment and anger hallelujah he will give trouble and suffering to everyone who does evil so when you see that their spirit is troubling you see that they are suffering you see that they are angry it is because they are they are carrying out the punishment that god have given to them the bible said they choose to follow evil you need to understand for those who refuse for those who are selfish, the, the word of God says there, those who refuse, they refuse. Not that they don't know. There is difference between somebody knowing and doing and somebody not knowing and doing. You understand? It's two different things. It's two different things. These people, they know the truth. These people, they know what is right. The evil doers, they know what is good. They know that Jesus exists. They know salvation. They know what is right from what is wrong. But they refuse. The Bible said they refuse. They refuse. Underline that statement. They refuse. It is not about God not willing to show them mercy or God not willing to accept them to himself because the Bible says God takes no pleasure for any sinner to be destroyed. It is not that God is not willing. God is giving them chance. He's patient with every one of us. But yet you see so many people who refuse. Instead, they follow evil. Instead, they follow evil. Hallelujah. He said, those that refuse, that know the truth and they refuse 
to follow the truth. The Bible recorded that God will give them his punishment and anger. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He will give trouble. He will give them trouble and suffering. So their suffering, a child of God, it is something that they cannot bear. That is why sometimes you see people pouring out their frustration on innocent people. You are like, uh -uh, I just want everything to be okay, but you just see the person feeling frustrated towards you. You are asking yourself what is going on because the person is suffering for the evil path that they have chosen. Hallelujah. Evil operate through human beings. Evil operate through people. You are not going to be walking on the street and you will just see something that appears and say, I'm the evil. No, it operates through human beings. There are spiritual evil that that, that those ones that operate, you know, it is something that, that you cannot see, but when you, you understand they exist and some function through human being, hallelujah, as the word of God functions through men, we know the Holy Spirit is with us. We might not be seeing the Holy Spirit. We know the Holy Spirit is there. We can feel the presence of God. We can feel the anointing. We can feel the love of God. We can feel the hand of God. We might not be seeing it. You understand? So through us as well, the word of God is being spoken. It's being manifested. The, the prayer is being prayed. The preaching is being preached through human being. And we believe that is a, a force behind us which is the holy spirit which is god the father the son the holy spirit hallelujah so also it is those that do wickedness so there is a, an evil force that, that that is behind them you understand they feel it they understand this some of them they see it you understand and they manifest it so it is what it is when there is an original there is a counterfeit you need to understand when there is an original, there is an account of it. If you can pray and you are praying, you believe God is there. You believe the Holy Spirit is there. You believe God is with you. The word of God is there to back you up. You also need to know that the evil doers, they believe that there is an evil, that is a Satan, that is a demon that is backing them up. So that is how it is. When there is an original, there is a counterfeit. Always have this at the back of your mind. But they are suffering now. It is because it is, it is too much. For them to bear. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but he will give glory, honor, and peace to everyone who does good. Hallelujah. <clears throat> he said to the Jews first and also to those who are not Jews. Hallelujah. For God judges all people in the same way. Glory to Jesus. So he will give glory. He will give honor. You know, God gives glory. He will give glory. He clothes us with his glory. When you honor God, when you give God glory, when you exalt God, the glory of the Lord will be seen all over you, you know. When a man is loved by God, you will see the glory of the Lord all over the life of that man, all over the life of that woman. When, the, when a man is loved by God, the glory of the Lord is always radiating around that man. That is what the Bible means when it says, but he will give glory, honor, and peace to everyone who does good hallelujah in the midst of their anger in the midst of their suffering god is giving you peace god is giving you honor it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist sarah by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye